Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I clean iron. Um, I'm going to show you how I turn this into this. Have you noticed sometimes when you're ironing and you realize that your iron is actually sticking to your clothes? And um, so all these, I'm going to show you how basically I remove these marks. Well, it's not marks. I'm just going to show you how I remove this. So this is my um, Morphe Richards iron. Um, it's actually a great iron, really. I don't really have much complaints except for <laughs> this bit. That's kind of frustrating sometimes. But overall, it's a really great iron. I really enjoyed it. I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, I'm also going to show you how I remove the build-up that sometimes... I'm not sure if you can see it. Move closer. Yeah, there you go. So all the fibers all collide. All the fibers normally just stick in. If you find this tip to be very helpful, please subscribe to the channel and comment and tell me how exactly you clean your iron. As you can see, it actually does have a little bit of built up line scale um, on the iron. Let's show you move closer. It's not very obvious, but as you can see here, so I'm going to do my best to remove all of this and show you how best to do. Every iron is different. This is how I'm going to clean my iron. Um, I've read the manual which tells me how to clean my iron, when, especially when I'm doing a deep clean. And make sure that your iron is cool. So I have tried the bicarb soda and um, I've tried it with white vinegar mixed together as a paste. Nothing's happened. So you know what? What I've decided to do is go back to my number one trusted product, the pink stuff. Let's see if this is going to work out. So I'm just going to basically. I actually did not want to make this channel about the pink stuff, but you know what? Sometimes, sometimes a really great product is what you really need. I'm just really going to work my way into this. Look at that. It's literally starting to. You do need a little bit of power to put a bit of energy into it. But. using the pink stuff was actually the most effective it is as it says on the tin is tough on stains and I'm really really appreciative but unfortunately I feel like the paint the coating the paint coating has been removed but everything literally came off so I'm really really grateful for that um, so yeah so the other part I do so what I end up doing I get a little cotton bud As you can see. And then on the other side. All these are just fibers.
Oh, and in here. But I've discovered there's a much simpler way. So what I love about my eye end is that um, it requires for me to use deionizing water. So this is the one that I use. <laughs> this has got this from Halfords. I know it's for the car, but if you read the instructions, actually it says deionize water for use. Can use in engine cooling and also for irons, lava lamps and air conditioning units. So this is the one that I use. So I'm just going to pour it into my iron. Turned it on. Put this. And just. And then it just starts cleaning itself. So I just press the steam button. And everything that's inside gets to come out of the steam. So after the iron has self-cleaned, I wait for it to cool down a little bit and then I just get my cotton bud and my cloth and I just work around it. Um, this allows me to get onto the areas that are hard to reach and yeah, just basically clean it on the outside and make sure everything is ready for use. So this is what my iron looks like now. I'm really happy with the results. All the fibers have officially come off and um, I'm not really upset about the paint that's come off because hey <laughs> as long as the iron works right so I'm really happy and if you guys found this video to be helpful please subscribe to the channel and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!